2019, Akwai bomb government marks Buhari's campaign office for demolition. Less than three days after the campaign office of President Muhammadu Buhari in India, Akwai bomb state capital was opened. The state government has reportedly marked the building housing the office for demolition, triggering political tension. The four-story building on Wellington Bassey Way, christened Hilltop Mansion, is not far from the government house. According to Vanguard, sources claim the state government has been uncomfortable with the closeness of the campaign office to the government house which informed the decision to pull it down. We gathered that the campaign office was launched on Monday, April 23rd by the National Committee of Buhari's Support Groups NCBSG, which vowed to win the state in both the presidential and governorship polls. Investigations by Vanguard revealed that the office building is the only structure designated on the road for demolition by the UEO Capital City Development Agency UCDA, an agency of the state government. There are also speculations that the state government also plans to revoke the building's certificate of occupancy before proceeding on the demolition. According to a source who spoke with Vanguard, the plan is first to revoke the certificate of occupancy by the government before demolition. But the question is why would the government condescend solo as to do that? Recall that in 1999, 2003 and 2015, many politicians had their campaign offices on the same barrack road and the heavens did not fall. Is it because they were all P2P members and this is APC? It was equally alleged that the Commissioner of Police and the State Director of Department of State Services DSS, were asked to stop the NCBSG office inauguration. But both security heads were said to have refused to act in line with the directive. They, however, reportedly provided adequate security for the event which attracted a very large crowd. According to Vanguard sources, the state government had approached the owner of the building to take over the premises, but the owner was said to have told the state government that NCBSG had already acquired it for use. However, speaking on the development, the chairman of Uyo City Capital Development Agency, Eno Bangyuwa, told Vanguard that the building was not the only one in Uyo Capital City marked. He urged owners of such buildings to present their papers, or start the process of acquiring the relevant papers for their buildings. He said, does it mean that any building marked is for demolition? The announcement has been on the radio that anybody who does not have the necessary papers should come and do their papers. It is not just that building. It is an ongoing exercise. We should not politicize everything. I asked my staff about the building and they said that the building was marked early April. So, go to other buildings and they are also marked. If you have papers, you come to the office and present them and if you don't have, you start the process to obtain the relevant papers. Vanguard reported that effort to speak with the state coordinator of NCBSG, Ignatius Adet, for reaction proved abortive as he did not answer his calls, 